Okay, good day everybody. We are starting at the time as it was prescribed, so no time for those which are delayed. Today, the next webinar from the few last one, which where we, I would like to give you some information about the energy recovery wheels. How does it work? The principle, we will not go into the details, just for those who are not familiar with it. So. This is not very detailed presentation, but just general presentation and of course some advantages about the Swiss rotors wheels. As you can see, we have this one condensation wheel or, uh, running. Then we have uh, some samples of the small wheels. One is with this sorption coating, so we, we can easily recognize it. It's a white wheel and the more gray is just simple condensation wheel. So about the sum of about the construction, uh, of course this is the wheel with the matrix of aluminium. One aluminium foil is a flat, the second is corrugated, which is giving the waves, and then there is a lot of channels. And then we have a casing, of course support of the wheel, shaft with the bearing inside, and it is driven by very efficient, much higher than the, the EC motor or not talking about the AC motors, with the step motor drive, which we can see somewhere here in the bottom, you see how small is it? There is no any gearbox, nothing, just a only motor. Then we have a segmented belt and of course the whole casing. About some principles, uh, the, the matrix is built of aluminium foil and we are not using very, very thin foil like the other ones. We are using 0.07 mm uh, thick aluminium foil and depending on the type of the recovery which we would like to have, there will be a few types of the wheels itself. And then we can reach with this combination of the aluminium foil and the coating up to 90% of the energy saving using this wheel. We can also have a very high, if we use sorption wheel, we can have a very high recovery of the latent energy from those humid climates. And the coating which is for use for the enthalpy wheels and the sorption wheels, everybody call it as a three angstrom molecular sieve coating. Uh, the special uh, structure of it allow to transfer the, the humidity, I mean the water inside the air, but do not allow to go through it some uh, particles, bigger particles like dust, uh, some others, odor and some other uh, particles. So that's why it is very common used in this type of the heat recovery. And what is special in our design if you can see on this presentation on the bottom uh, right uh, drawing or, or picture there is a longitudinal uh, forms which additionally give the highest strength and more turbulence through the passing of the air. About some principles, so usually we move through the rotating wheel as on this uh, drawing in the bottom is going the supply air, fresh air, and in the bottom, and usually the direction for the higher efficiency, the direction is cross. We use uh, the extract air or exhaust air. So how does it work? So you can see, so one air stream, supply air stream is going in the bottom, second is going in the upper level. So then, of course, the parameters of the air is given to the aluminium foil or even to the coating if there is with the coating and then the extract air is taking this parameter of the air uh, is giving, uh, giving to the supply air those parameters. About the types which I just mentioned earlier, just pure aluminium foil, everybody call, call it sensible wheel or condensation wheel because there is only sensible energy we recover it. And then we have an enthalpy wheel in our wheel code. It is letter E for the condensation is C. And then enthalpy is uh, used mainly in those climates when we have uh, some transit period like winter, uh, sorry, uh, like a spring or autumn or when there is no high humidity. 
then we can get some uh, back from the exhaust uh, some humidity and again have a higher efficiency for the energy recovery and this wheel is built of flat foil is with the, this three angstrom molecular sieve coating and the corrugated uh, foil with waves is built is coating is coated with this uh, coated coating as I mentioned uh, then sorption wheel also very often called the total wheel is uh, consists of two layers with this coating three angstrom molecular sieve coating so it's giving much higher latent heat recovery latent energy heat recovery uh, what is fresh now we did some uh, research and discussion with the technical universities that in the current difficult times with the COVID-19 we are start we are starting to use uh, some additional addings it's a nano silver which is uh, preventing to pass through the supply fresh air those viruses and this is if we use also some additional adding like uh, titanium oxide and then use some ultraviolet uh, lamps we can eliminate a lot of viruses a lot of other bacterials and everything so it's helping to keep a clean air circulating through the building so this is quite new I don't know if anybody is using we are starting within uh, one or two weeks uh, nano silver adding to the our coating so we have a monolith structure of the wheel I mean in difference than the other ones for a monolith there means there is no any cutting on the wheels until certain uh, diameters we are not using any spikes rods so we are not drilling the wheel through and what does it give uh, it uh, assured that the wheel is solid in one piece the wheel is has uh, got around 8% higher exchange surface because when the other ones drill the roads of course it's uh, blocking the pass through the air pass through and then limiting the exchange surface exchange and, then, and you know uh, the heat recovery depends on the exchange surface then we have of course thanks to it we have a better performance also thanks to those uh, longitudinal embossing uh, which we do during the winding then of course as we do not have any spikes any blocking areas of the wheel we have a lower pressure loss and of course more air can go through the matrix and then as a result uh, we have 2% uh, better efficiency performances than the other ones what about the other ones of course they need to drill it so they have a uh, additional labor involved during the manufacturing process that means it is a higher cost then they use a, a bit different structure of the wheel and then the last layer is built on the much thicker uh, aluminium usually aluminium foil which also cost the money then they do not use that kind of the drives which we have I will tell you about the drives in the next picture I'm talking about this step motors and this controller for the step motors so these are the just advantages of us so you can compare with the other ones how does it looks compared to the, our competitors now a bit about the, the drive and the controllers so as you can see on the pictures this step motors we use a three step motors depending on the type of the wheel if it is a condensation uh, enthalpy or sorption we use a different uh, type and uh, I mean power output uh, motors usually there are three types of motors two, two newtonometer four newtonometer and uh, eight newtonometer which is uh, 55 volts 110 volts and 260 volts so very small power input as you can see compared to the other ones where they're using 0 0.75 kilowatts so it's a quite high uh, motor and the consumption is really really very low like for example four times lower than the drive even easy drive but with the gearbox reduction gearbox we don't have any gearbox because those motors can run from one up to 400 rpm with the equal torque that means we do not need uh, reduction gearbox 
as the other motors which run with a much higher speeds like uh, starting from uh, two pole motors that are 2800 rpm or four pole motors 1400 rpm so those motors are very low speed thanks to it we do not need reduction gearbox and the reduction gearbox usually has uh, very low efficiency that's why our power consumption is very low for example for that kind of the wheel it's uh, around I think uh, 20 watts what we this right now it's uh, taking and of course the efficiency of the whole drive is much much higher than the other ones with the AC and the reduction block or even EC with the reduction block the motors are three phase uh, 200 volts uh, alternate current so you can if you have a specification where the consultant require I need a three-phase motor then you can say you ha I have a three-phase motor because the motor is three-phase maybe in some cases they said we don't need a three-phase motor we need a, I don't know once with single phase so you can say that we can we need the supply single phase because why we have a controller this one which is giving output three phase but the input is one phase so it is a 230 volts 50 hertz and 60 hertz power supply with the just you just have a quick connection here three three wires I mean a zero uh, neutrum sorry zero phase and the ground and then output is with the three one two three phases uh, and then you how you can control it just as usual motor with some small contactor because the power is very old so on off if you don't need a variable speed so just a signal to run the the wheel and it's running and signal is off so it's stop running then you can use 0 10 uh, volt control signal DC of course depending on your controller what do you need if you would like to control the humidity control the temperature you can use this on the first step of the control of the air parameters on the supply side so if you need a lower temperature you can lower the speed you can you need a higher recovery you can increase the speed in the winter time in the Europe environment you can also control the defrost you can have some pressure uh, drop uh, sensors and thanks to him you see that there is a probably some freezing is coming into the action so then you can uh, just uh, lower the speed then you can uh, remove this freezing area and then of course if you'd like to get some uh, back information about the, I don't know the current rotation and everything you can use the Modbus then you will get from the controller back to your controller of the air handling units some reverse information also with the Modbus you can get uh, very easily signal that the belt is broken why because there will be of course different current necessary to rotate the step motors if the belt is broken of course the current will go down so then there is a, some uh, step which is giving the information that uh, the motor lost the belt so you don't need to install any sensor and additional wiring for the installation where there is required I mean the loss of the belt control system so this is the advent, uh, additional advantage of it and this is everything in this small box and this small box we have a small display which is showing the current and RPM in this case because this is the condensation wheel you can see now 10 RPM if I will uh, switch it off that will uh, drop down of course and then uh, I, when I switch it on it will be increasing up to 10 RPM once again about the summary of the advantages we can have the highest heat transfer efficiency up to 90 percent ability to transfer humidity well, of course with this enthalpy and absorption wheel we have a lower risk of the ice build up thanks to this smart controller and then if you install the sensors of the temperature or the pressure drop sensors then you can get it and very quiet and smooth operation no gearbox no any strange noise also the segmented belts is very easy to adjust the tension you just remove a few segments and you have a good uh, you have a good tension again so it's very easy to maintain no any problem with it 
So that was uh, more or less everything, what I would like just to say. I am not, as I mentioned in the beginning, going into the some details. Of course, we will be waiting for your questions from this webinar. So if you would like to ask some, please send me an email. We will be more than happy to answer your questions and then uh, give some additional technical information going into the bigger and more deep details. So that's, I think, it was just overview of the principle of the heat recovery wheels. I hope you enjoy it and I would like to invite you for the next webinar. We are working on it and be prepared for the next one. Thank you very much.